What is going on guys, DBG here, and today 2K have made history in more than one way. They have released a moment's Fred Van Vliet card and making him the first Galaxy Opal moments card. So lads, the very first Opal moments card is Fred Van Vliet. I'm pretty sure last year, my voice is starting to go for some reason, but am I right in saying that last year there were no Opal Moments cards and the year before the first Opal Moments was CJ McCollum? Am I right in saying that? And this year it's Fred Van Vliet. But again, I'm kind of surprised. Oh, well, I'm not surprised at all because, let's be real, Fred Van Vliet's probably not getting a Moments card otherwise, so... Or sorry, he's not getting an Opal card otherwise, so they might as well give him an Opal. But lads, Fred Van Vliet has a Galaxy Opal before Michael Jordan. We live in a world where Fred Van Vliet has a Galaxy Opal before Michael Jordan. So yeah, anyway. This card right here. Before we get onto his stats, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to hit 250,000 subscribers as soon as possible. Hopefully, we're able to hit that within the next like three or four months. The goal realistically is to hit 250k by about April, May. So that would be the an ideal situation. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Now we are going to have a look at the stats of this Fred Van Vliet card. So Fred Van Vliet, he has got hot zones everywhere outside the three-point line. He's got a 94 um mid sorry 95 three-pointer 92 mid-range he's also got like a 94 shot close and he has got um overall really good speed he's 6-1 which is a bit of a problem but only a 6-2 wingspan so like that is very very similar in terms of like length to like a chris paul so he is quite small he has got lateral quick he's a 94 which is good as well he's got half clamps which is big so he's got half clamps, he's got half range extender, he's got half catch and shoot, he has got half flexible release, he has also got um, half, does he have steady at all? He does not, so he doesn't get blindness for next gen. He's got 94 speed with ball, he's got 50 intangibles and 95 shot IQ. That is not a great sign lads, that is not a great sign at all to be honest. Normally the lower in those two stats the better, like normally at this stage when you're looking at other cards, you're seeing like 25 shot IQ and stuff. He's got a 65 driving dunk. Animations wise, Pro 1 Escape which is the second best escape in the game after Pro 2. He's got Yanis base on quick, which is actually pretty nice. I just need to see does um did Fred Van Vliet have this release have his release on quick? No, he added a normal on this card. So he's got that release on quick. So he seems alright. Like he seems alright in terms of like his overall stats. Like he's got unpluckable. He's got the pro uh, three behind the back, which is really good. Um, he's got the normal fade, which is on next gen the best in the game. It'll be weird. It'll be weird when they start giving people curry fade, but um, yeah, Pro Three has he as well. So he's got a lot of good things going for him. Like only two thousand seven hundred eighty-eight total stats. One player I actually kind of want to compare that to is this guy right. Actually, not even Jack, this guy right here. It came out yesterday. I get it. You've got a lot more Hall of Fame badges on uh, Fred Van Vliet. The Brian Davis card that came out yesterday. When he has his Evo, he's got 2665, which is like 100 less. Let's see what the Evo Jared Jack is. The Evo Jared Jack, 2680. So you're only looking at, again, less than 100 total stats better than the Evo Jared Jack. And now let's compare him to the best point guards in the game. So let's have a look just even at Dame. 2728. So... He's like a non-dunking Dame. Like in terms of stats wise, he's not that much different than Dame. But the players that we're really gonna be looking at are kind of the undersized point guards. So Jameer Nelson, I wonder who this is a picture of here. Like this is obviously not Jameer, Jameer Nelson. You guys may not be able to see it, but this is evidently not, I think it's Trey, uh, Trey Rollins. But um, let's have a look. Jameer Nelson, Francis, Sexton. There's no point comparing him to an Oscar Robertson because that's a dumb comparison. It's, it's dumb comparing like a tall point guard to a small point guard. Sexton, um, Steph Curry. And let's go and get Freddy and put him in right here for the comparison. So, 
You've got 20 hot badges on Fred Van Vliet, which is incredible. Some badges like contact finisher don't matter on a six foot one point guard. Acrobat, again, it does not matter on a point. Uh, maybe it matters. Giant Slayer does matter. Um, Unpluckable Hall of Fame, like, I'm pretty sure Unpluckable doesn't do anything. Like, from what I remember when I was playing Pro-Am, I had Bronze Unpluckable on my point guard. I don't think it does anything really. You still get hit with bump steals. Um, Space Creator, I don't think does anything. It's on goal. Quick for steps, a big badge. Downhill's good. Tight handles is good. Uh, he's got Dimer, Lab City Passer. He's also got Half Clamps. He's got the Quick Dribble style for anyone who's um, who's big on that. Jameer Nelson, 2717 total stats. He's actually he's got more total stats than Jameer Nelson. Obviously, he can't carry slide. And he's got more half badge as well. However, a few less gold. So, I think he might be a similar level to Jameer Nelson. He's actually got a little bit less stats than Francis. Um, around the same as Sexton. And Steph Curry, a little bit more. I reckon Steph Curry's so good because he's Steph more than anything. Colin Sexton has got a really, really good dunk of 90. As well as the fact he can curry slide and has an equally as good, if not better, release on Showtime dunks and Showtime. So... Sexton's, Sexton's a fantastic card. Um, Steve Francis is literally like slightly downgraded Sexton. Except he's a little bit bigger, so he's probably even to Sexton. Then you got Jameer Nelson, who not a great dribble style, but still got a really quick release and a lot of people like him. But for Evan Van Vliet, I mean, he's in that type of conversation. So I'm going to have a look to see what price you guys should be looking at for Evan Van Vliet for. So I'm looking at those, I'm going to look at those guys there. And just see what price in general they are before telling you guys what price I think he should be at. So let me have a look. He's kind of similar level to Ben Gordon as well. Ben Gordon is over the 100k. Let's see what Francis is. Steve Francis is about 200k. Steve Francis is overpriced, by the way. He's most definitely overpriced. Colin Sexton is around 210k. Again, overpriced. Like... It's very weird. The point guard position is very much a case of guys being overpriced. So, I would still say, because of the fact that Fred Van Vliet is going to be at least 200k. He's going to be at least 200k. And in a month's time, he will be seen as one of the worst Opals in the game. I'm telling you that right now. I would probably stay away from this card. Unless you're a massive Raptors fan, a massive Van, v Van Vliet fan. I would probably stay away from this card. Um, however, like... I can't see him being significant upgrade over like a an Evo to Brad Davis because he gets like a half clamps gold range and everything. Um, he's not he's an upgrade. He's not a massive upgrade over even Jared Jack. So yeah, Fred Van Vliet, not much of a dunker. What he's going to be is basically a undersized point guard who's going to be able to move around screens, shoot the three pointer really well. But like his half clamps isn't going to matter. He's six foot one. His Intimidator is not going to matter. He's six foot one, And honestly, I think the best comparison to this guy right here, I get it he's four inches taller. Don't get me wrong. I get it he's four inches taller. But Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas has... Um, neither of them are tall. Like, saying someone's 5'9 versus 6'1. Yes, there's a little bit of a height difference. But they're still getting post-spin by everybody. Like, if you play against somebody good, you're still getting post-spin by Oscar. Whether you use Fred Van Vliet or Isaiah Thomas, you're getting post-spin by Oscar. In my opinion, he's very, very comparable to an, an Isaiah Thomas. In terms of just overall ability in game. And I don't know. I think I'd I'd definitely rather spend the 40k on Isaiah Thomas rather than the 200 plus k on Fred Van Vliet. So not the worst card in the world. However, um, he's probably going to be very very overpriced so anyway yeah that's pretty much it lads that is the video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe